Hello, Jonathan Landeros with Kativ Technologies, and welcome to our next video on Autodesk Inventor Publisher, Creating Annotations. In this video, we'll take a storyboard previously created in another video, and we're going to add some annotations to it to give us some more information. So let's get started. Here we have our model, and we'll go ahead and use our storyboard and the tools from the ribbon, as well as the right-click menu, to add some more information. Let's start with a callout. And I'm going to add some information to this flat. And just tell it to add some lithium grease to that portion of, of the shaft. So we'll type in our information. And we can resize and move that annotation, that call out, by clicking and dragging. By the way, this isn't an engineering thing. I just kind of made that up. We can also change the fill, the color, and the shape of our annotation from the ribbon. And I can also change the type of leader I'm using. Simple line, elbow, or conical. Next, I'm going to go ahead and click through the steps on my storyboard and find the next step I want to add an annotation on. In this case, we'll use that third step, and I'll add a simple text line and this is going to indicate that to make sure that you align the thumb screw with the flat before you assemble this component. With that done, we're going to go ahead and add one more callout. And that's going to be a circular arrow, which we can add by clicking and dragging. I'll go ahead and finish that off, but it's not lined up the way I want it. But I can line it up the way I want it by choosing the glyph, and I've got options to align it, or move it, or change it. I can align it to the screw by picking the screw, and then I can drag it, reposition it, flip it, whatever I need to do. And I'll add another text note just to say this is left-handed, so make sure you take that into account. Once that's done, we can go ahead and come back and play the animation. Right click and choose play. And we'll play it from the top. And we can see how it steps through. And notice that the annotations only appear in the steps where we put them. That gives us the ability to have these appear and disappear when needed. So you can see the steps, follow the steps, and adjust everything to your steps. Now that that's completed, we're done with this video. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.